Hey guys, back again. I'm just doing a real super, super quick video here talking about a few things that we got from the Midwest Gaming Classic and off of uh, mainly AtariAge.com's forums from some other members there. So here we're going to take a look. This is a, uh, what we got here is a turbographic system and the CD unit and the CD ROM 2 card and the power base. Um, I haven't tested this out yet because I don't have an AC adapter to try out the power base, but from what I understand, the power base works and the CD unit is supposed to work. Um, I haven't tried them yet. I've had them for about a week or so now. Um, and then here, I also got, for spare parts, an extra CD-ROM unit and an extra power base. And this power base is kind of beat up pretty badly, so um, I only got that extra because mainly because they were free with the uh, other ones. So from the Midwest Gaming Classic I got uh, we got almost all of this stuff here. I think a few of these I had beforehand but I don't think so. Anyway, let's start from the top here. Cosmic Fantasy 2. It is instructions and disc only and the disc looks like in fantastic shape. Pick this up for ten bucks from a, a seller at the Midwest Gaming Classic. This one, I have no idea what it is. It's for the PC Engine Duo Super CD-ROM. It's, uh... I'm not even sure what it is. I think this is the one with the really weird, uh... Yeah, the Games Express card that comes inside of it. I have no idea what it is. Um, I should try it. Since I don't have a, C a Super CD-ROM system, I'll have to try it on Magic Engine. But yeah, it looks like some kind of dating sim type game or something. That might be worth a laugh or two got this one. Uh, Super P, Super Pi 4, is that it? I'm not even sure what this one is. Hmm. Another game, um, it was actually in 16-bit, or uh, Mad Gear, some of, some of you might know him on the forums or on eBay. Uh, Carlton, really, really great guy. He remembered me from a couple years ago from Midwest Classic when I sold my entire game collection. Um, anyway, I talked to him and he got me some really good deals. I think I got this for two bucks, along with that Games Express one. This was two bucks as well. Fatal Fury Special. Game I absolutely f love on the uh, PC Engine arcade card. Really, 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 really great faithful translation from the uh, Neo Geo Classic. That was two bucks. Got another Tinoki Bank. Of course, everyone that um, try wants to have some games saved on their PC Engine or uh, American Duos needs to have a Tinoki Bank so you can save your games and share them with friends and whatnot, or, or have more than just one thing full of saves. Um, Galaga 88, PC Engine Classic. This was two bucks as well. All of these, the reason I say they're two bucks is because I think I picked out nine games out of his bargain bin, and it said ten dollars each. When I picked out the nine games, he goes, uh, eighteen bucks for all those. And I said, you got to be kidding me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Galaga 88. Uh, Nectaris. I've never actually owned this one in the past. I always had Military Madness, and then I had um, Neo Nectaris for the Super CD-ROM. So now I got Nectaris, which I'm pretty excited about. Picked up as well TV Sports Basketball. I believe I got this for four dollars. It is complete, uh, almost complete. It doesn't have the box, but that'll go with my TV Sports Football and Hockey collection. Now I've got all the TV Sports games for the Turbo Graphics again. Oh, what excitement! And then, of course, World Class Baseball got this for $4 at the Midwest Gaming Classic, I believe. Uh, Power Golf, this one I think was 4 bucks, uh, which I know is probably I've overpaid for it, I'm sure, but oh well. A couple fun ga fun hours there. Blazing Lasers I already had. Got that for 10 bucks off Amazon.com. Alien Crush, I think, if I'm not... I think I picked this up for 6 I think this was $6 at the Midwest Classic. I can't remember the seller's name exactly, but I got most of these from one guy. Um, he had a lot of great deals. Um, and of course, no Turbo Graphics collection is complete without Keith Courage, which I picked up for $3.99, I think. But anyway, all in all, I had a great experience at the Midwest Classic. I picked up several games for my now-blooming Turbo Graphics collection. That's the entire collection right there. <laughs> so I guess as blooming as it can be. But I got the Turbo Graphics system, a CD unit, some games, and uh, you know it's a good start so far. I've only been um, recollecting again since February, so now it's been about a month and a half since I started, and um, 
I'm trying to game on a budget here. I'm not spending a ton of money on any of this. The Turbo Graphics unit, I don't know if I've already mentioned this in older videos, but the Turbo Graphics unit itself I got for 20 bucks off eBay. eBay member um, misspelled it. He, it was Turbo G R A P X Graphics, and nobody else bid on it, so it went to 19.99. I bid on it and won it. And then the CD units, um, I got off of uh, some sellers on Atari Age, and I got some pretty good deals. So, until next time, take it easy.